Okay, so what I wanted to talk about now is talking about putting the supply and demand together onto one graph. Okay, so in terms of looking at it, let's start with each graph individually. Okay, so in terms of what you've seen in the lecture, in terms of the slides, note that the demand basically has this shape. Okay, it's downward sloping. Okay, and what this is shown by, in terms of it's formalized as the law of demand, but essentially says that there's a negative relationship between the price between the price and the quantity demanded. Okay, so in terms of here, we have P representing the price. When price goes up, we say that the quantity demanded goes down. Okay, and that kind of makes sense. When something is more expensive, people are going to buy or you know, demand less of it. Okay, and then the opposite, of course, is the case. Price goes down. Quantity demanded is going to go up. Okay, so then we have the demand, and now there's also, again, there is the supply. Okay, and the supply is exactly the opposite in terms of its shape, basically being upward sloping. Okay, so... What's the reason for the difference? Because again, it's the relationship between the price and this particular quantity. When the price goes up, what's gonna to happen to the quantity supplied? The quantity supplied is gonna increase. Okay, basically if there is a higher price for it, there's more money to be made by supplying the product, and as a result, more is gonna be produced. Okay, and then you can also say when the price falls, quantity supplied is gonna fall with it. Okay. All right, so to combine these two curves together onto one graph, we can basically just do the following. Okay, so we have our demand curve basically going down, and our supply curve going up. Okay. All right. So in terms of where is the equilibrium? Okay, or where do these curves cross? Okay, the curves cross okay, at this particular point. Okay, we call this P sub 1 and Q sub 1. Okay, and as I just said, basically what this is called is the equilibrium. Okay, and so what happens particularly at the equilibrium? What's supposed to be the case? that we have the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied basically equal to each other. 